हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे विल सी द डीएलएस डेवलपमेंट ऑफ लैटरल सरफेसेस ऑफ एक कोन द प्रॉब्लम इज ए राइट सर्कुलर कोन हैविंग बेस डायमीटर 60 एम एम एंड एक्सिस लेंथ 80 एम एम रेस्टिंग ऑन इट्स बेस ऑन एच पी इट इज कट बाय एन ए आई पी एट फोर्टी डिग्री टू एच पी एंड पासिंग थ्रू द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ द एक्सिस ड्रॉ द डी एल एस ऑफ द कोन सो वन थिंग ऑलवेज रिमेंबर इन द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द सर्फेसेस इफ द कोन्स प्रॉब्लम इज देयर इट इज द मोस्ट सेफ प्रॉब्लम मीन्स युअर फ्रंट व्यू एंड टॉप व्यू विल बी नेवर रॉन्ग टॉप व्यू इज गोइंग टू बी अ सर्कल एंड फ्रंट व्यू इज गोइंग टू बी अ ट्रैंगल सो दैट्स वाय सो चूजिंग दिस प्रॉब्लम इज वन ऑफ द सेफेस्ट वे देन ऑलवेज आई सजेस्ट हाउ टू ड्रॉ द टॉप व्यू ऑफ ए कोन फॉर ड्रॉइंग द टॉप व्यू ऑफ ए कोन प्लीज सी विच प्रोसिजर आई एम फॉलोइंग एंड आई सजेस्ट यू यू फॉलो द सेम प्रोसिजर वॉट यू डू so whenever in the drawing we draw the circle always we must draw the horizontal and vertical intersecting line like this and if this line is extended more in the front view or on upper portion there is no problem so it is anyway later on it is required and once we mark this plus sign or cross then in the compass take the radius 60 mm diameter 60 mm diameter means the radius is going to be 10 20 30 so this with 30 mm radius you have to draw the circle will be like this this is the circle with 60 mm diameter and whenever we mark the circle again my basic suggestion will be what always dimension the object so once we dimension the object so we'll understand whether it is right so here also it is going to be diameter 60 560 then for the circle always make its eight divisions i'll suggest eight divisions are more than enough means from the center of a circle draw one line 45 degree and other line with other edge 45 degree like this means circle can be easily divided it into eight parts and once we divide this into eight parts then afterwards you can mark the reference line so by keeping appropriate gap so this is going to be a, a reference line so we can say that it is x it is y and now you can give the names for this also how we can give the names it is a b it is going to be c d e f g h so a b c d e f g h these are the eight and this center o for the axis then draw the front view so for drawing the front view what we have to do take the projectors so one is from tangent to the circle from a then from b end h up to xy then from the center already we are having then from d end f and then from e from e so the front view of the base is going to be like this it is a dash b dash then c dash d dash it's e dash then this is f dash g dash and h dash so base it is not going to be cut we can mark this base dark the base of the cone it is dark one 
एंड मार्क द एक्सेस एक्सेस इज हाउ मच सो द एक्सेस इज ए टी एम एम सो ए टी एम एम विल बी लाइक दिस इट विल बी लाइक दिस ए टी एंड देन फ्रॉम ए टी एम एम जॉइन दिस आउटर जनरेटर इट इज वन it is like this so immediately we can give this dimension 80 and passing through the midpoint means from this point it is the midpoint of the axis you mark this line also so both these lines so it is 80 in the drawing marking the midpoint means we have to show that by dimensions so it is going to be the midpoint of the axis and along with this we have to draw the other generators also how we can draw the generators d and on this side so these are the generators then initially don't make this outer generators of the cone dark because we don't know how it is cut it is cut by an aip auxiliary inclined plane means its inclination will be with hp and the inclination with hp it is seen in the front view only the inclination that inclination is it is mentioned that it is going to be 40 degree so whatever the angle is given that angle you can take it may be 40 45 or 50 if it is 40 then mark 40 so cutting plane line means just like center line you can show this is the cutting plane line means it is cut like this so once we mark this cutting plane then what i'll suggest immediately you mark the outer gen outer generators make dark in the retained portion in the retained portion means this lower portion only like this similarly on this side also we can mark this dark uh, this is the this portion this upper portion is removed that lower portion is retained so it is going to be o dash this is going to be also o dash this is the axis so it is the midpoint and this inclination is 40 degree so this is the cutting plan which is making 40 degree angle then in the development how to mark this points and first we have to see the simple development of this cone and then on that so wherever this cutting plan cuts those points we have to mark then this cutting plan is cutting this eight generators how we can give the, those names so those names are going to be like this so on a it is 1 then 2 it is 3 it is 4 it is 5 at the same time it's double it's 6 it's 7 and then here it is 8 at this point so these eight points we have to mark in the development then the development of this portion is going to be what so first what we'll do in the cone so the advantage of cone is what its outer generator is always true length so this is the outer generator so it is going to be true length and this length will be using for the development what we can do so now here above the space is not available then you can mark this o at any point like this and then from that point keep the compass over here and we can mark the arc like this we can mark the arc like this once we mark the arc then what you have to do so first 
from this point mark one generator so initially we will make all this light only so this is the generator which will represent the true length correct this is the generator let's consider it is o2 a then remaining generators how we can mark so we can mark this development of cone is going to be a sector of a circle by calculations also we can mark so for the calculation we need the radius of the base and the sl slant height so that r by l into 360 will get the angle but instead of that the approximate method will be much better so that other method it will take too much time then in the approximate method what we have to do so this one eighth portion so slight error may be there because instead of measuring the arc we are measuring this portion so once again you check at other place also so whether it is correct or not yes it is correct means it is the one eighth portion then from this a mark such eight parts how we can mark it put the compass at a then rotate it it's one then it's two eight parts three four five six seven and eight so these are the eight parts and with the help of scale you can join all this so this is the apex o then so one it is going to be two it's three four join it eight parts are going to be there so these are the eight parts then in the development how we can mark this so it is o a it is b it is c it's d e f z h once again a once again a means as we have taken this outer generator all these are the true length in the development each and every line will represent true length then how to mark these eight points for marking these eight points what we have to do first transfer all these points on this end generator means five is there at the same place three also so this is on the outer generator two and eight and one where cutting plane cuts this cone so these points are going to be there then with the help of compass what we have to do put the compass side the apex and increase the radius so it's five o to five then from this o and with five as a radius draw the arc one like this again o o to this four and six with this radius also from o itself we have to mark the arc then from o increase the radius up to this point one more arc from O up to this so if space is there here itself you can draw the same O you can use in the development from O this distance so means always we have to measure this distance from true length so once we mark this points then what we can do so we can mark all these points in the development one is on a to o o to a so that point is going to be one and how we can mark this one will be it is one and it is one then two two and a on b and h so this this is that next point is 2 so it is going to be 2 b and h 
2 it is 8 then 3 and 7 3 so this point means this point it is 3 and next it's on this side so this point is 7 then 4 and 6 4 will be this point and 6 will be this point and 7 uh, 5 5 will be this arc is concerned with 5 and it is on E so it is 5 means what we have to do so we have to join 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and again 1 so this we have to join with a prehand then how we can join it just see it so this is what the curve and <coughs> remaining portion of the curve so these eight points we have to join with prehand and with a smooth curve and remaining portion of the cone we have to join it with like this with this portion 1 to a straight line similarly this 1 to a this is with like this and outer portion don't make any generator dark only this outer it is going to be dark this is what the development of this cone for the cone top view diameter is 60 height is 80 it is cut by AIP making 40 degree angle and passing through the midpoint that's why it is 40 and whatever that removed portion it is light and retained portion truncated cone its development we have drawn so this is the development and this is by approximate method so it is the development of a cone and i'll suggest always if cones example there is there it is uh, you can solve because its top view and front view will not be wrong like pyramid in the pyramid if the position of the side changes then whole problem will be wrong thank you